Hey y'all, Derhi here again. Today I'm continuing playing with February hip kits. And as in the last video I posted, I did some um, different backgrounds with the February color kit from Hip Kit Club. Um, this time I'm going to use one of the ready-made backgrounds and I have to say this is a really quick way to start scrapbooking as I have the background ready to go. There's a gesso first on top of the white cardstock and then some oxide inks and water on top added through a self-made stencil with a cut file from HeapKit Club. So it's really easy to start doing the page because I have everything ready to go. I have some scraps left over from several layouts and now I just can't take this photograph which is my youngest uh, dog and she is so playful in, the, in snow. She's like always messing around when she sees snow and this winter has been quite a lot of fun for her because there has been so much snow in Finland. But anyway, uh, I'm starting to make some kind of paper collage to the background, but I want to make sure that there is enough um, the mixed media shown on the background because I really love that pattern I made uh, with the oxide inks. I really love the colors. There's like this pistachio green and then I really don't remember the other one, some kind of turquoise, but probably there's a proper name for the turquoise. Anyway, um, I'm really happy with the background and I also did one of um, one background with this yellow color scheme but I wasn't as happy with that as I was with this one so I chose this. Um, these Epamera things are from Pinkfresh Studio and I decided to pick all the blooms. I really love the way they are colorful but not too bright because the photograph is like white and brown and I usually don't use a lot of brown <laughs> this is all new to me and I didn't want to add any too bright colors next to brown because it would look not that good so these kind of uh, light colored blooms are just perfect for this one and of course as our dog is natural <laughs> Uh, animal. I want to add a lot of uh, natural elements like the leaves and some florals and green as she loves all the green and I love all the green. Well actually I just posted to Instagram that uh, I really love green and blue and then I thought oh my gosh almost all my latest layouts have has been uh, or have been anyway um, have been greenish or bluish so probably I have this um, pace going on that I love everything green and blue and most green because I miss summer anyway so now I'm happy with the design I have planned and I'm starting to adhere all the papers to the background um, Last time thinking, should I change it, this whole piece otherwise? But no, it would be so similar kind of than the first layout I did with February hip kits. And that's why I choose to do it this way. Hip Kit Club design team has been um, started a new term just a couple of weeks ago. And I'm of course super thankful and happy to be there for like the seventh term. Um, but I also love the way that now the design team are doing all really different kind of layouts. There are um, some mixed media scrapbookers, but there's also um, a couple of ladies who do everything without mixed media and using a lot of cut files and then there's some um, 
with planners and traveler's notebooks and well a lot of different kind of things so I'm really inspired every day when I see they them working and it feels like oh my god I can't reach the level that they are doing but I'm trying my best I promise I'm trying my best so um, this layout is kind of uh, easy with the design there's just a photograph in the upper left corner and then the title part in the lower right corner and I didn't make any super massive title. I just wanted to have two um, collages or um, some kind of two spots for this layout because um, the background was already made with that kind of uh, design. Sure I would um, could be done with just one one thing in the middle of the paper but that wouldn't be as beautiful as I would hope. So um, I'm continuing with uh, Pink Press Studio Epamera and I also added the title with the, with these Epamera pieces which I absolutely adore. I also love those wooden buttons you can see in the left side of the screen. I really love them and I I have all, uh, done now four or five layouts with uh, February kits and I have already used all those buttons so obviously I adore them even though there are some orange buttons and I actually used them. I can't believe it. But now I want to add some texture more and that's why I added a lot of white thread and I didn't want to add any colorful thread for this layout because it's already um, kind of uh, busy with all the patterns and all the leaves and all the paper layers and mixed media background and everything like that but anyway it's super cool to have this kind of peaceful layout with lots of going on but that's kind of my style usually like controlled chaos. Anyway, so now I'm just adding the flowers which I want to add there and maybe some text more and that will be it. Of course I will add some mist flicks um, on top but nothing more. It will be good this way. You don't always have to add everything and well uh, I have learned something doing this layout and that something is that I should always do a couple of backgrounds uh, ready to go because it's so much fun when you have something ready to go and matching with your kit or collection you are working with that you can just take a photograph and start scrapbooking and if you have the background ready you almost have <laughs> You have to have kind of um, a design in your mind so you don't have to even think about that and it's cool. I really should do that more often and that way uh, scrapbooking is quick and sometimes it's just fun to do the background. You know, get messy and get your fingers inky and use a lot of things. Now that I don't have any scrapbook studio or scrap room or anything like that, it's much nicer to make a mess once and not every single time. But anyway, whatever suits for you. That that would be fitting for me, so I will do that. Anyway, uh, when I'm adding these buttons, I'm taking the 3D form off from the back side because they are really thick anyway. I don't want the layout to be too thick with the buttons. I'm actually thinking about adding this to the uh, scrapbook album so I don't want to add too much dimension for this so I'm just adding them without the 3d foam and going to glue them up and then then they will also last much longer than just with the 3d foam yeah just a couple of stickers more and that's it I hope you find this layout inspiring, at least I had 
tons of fun doing it and tons of fun seeing this process video coming together because it was so quick and looked like easy. But anyway, I hope you are inspired and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching this. Bye!